हेलो व्यूअर्स प्लीज इनकरेज अवर टैलेंट एंड लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल यू कैन आल्सो बी ए पार्ट ऑफ आवर आर्ट गैलरी सो सेंड योर आर्ट वर्क आर्ट वीडियोस एंड एनी अदर टैलेंट वीडियोस इन आवर मेल आईडी एंड कांटेक्ट अस इन आवर व्हाट्सएप नंबर वी प्रोवाइड ऑनलाइन कोचिंग आल्सो हेलो एवरीवन आई एम विश्वजीत एंड रिप्रेजेंटिंग डोरेमी यू कैन सी this is my previous video that i have already uploaded in this video i show you how to do landscape painting in watercolor and also i have given in the description you can check where i have shown how to color landscape in monochrome means black and white pastel digital and water medium and today's video i am going to show you how you can create this landscape effects with your pastel colors and also in digital medium so without wasting time let's see our video i tell you one thing this landscape coloring is very important to learn because this is a very basic things this is our background and this is also a tradition of our kolkata we are very good in landscape coloring so Let's enjoy our video. And you know, Dorim is a platform nourishes the start to shine. So join our platform and keep shining bright. So let's see the landscape painting in digital medium. This all together will clear your concept of landscape coloring. So we'll start drawing a straight line, but not too straight. This is our horizontal line. Don't use a scale over here because we don't need too straight. And now I am showing the mountains that is far, little bit closer, and bushes, or as horizontal bushes, far and closer, and the trees you can see that is very far, and these trees is the close to our painting, and some grasses, shadows, and some water effect, and the boats, in the river, and the human figure, very far so looks very tiny. So this is our drawing. So we'll start first taking a Prussian blue color, dark. Okay. Now we want lighter blue than Prussian blue. You can, you can use indigo. You have to mix the color with the Prussian and indigo. Now take uh, you can take cobalt blue color over here that is lighter than indigo. And every every steps you have to mix the color. So I am mixing the color. I am blending the color. Now I'll take white color mixed with cobalt blue. So it is. It will be looking lighter. So you can see, uh, I am giving more white in my cobalt blue color. So it is looking. The sky is on the top. It is darker, and in the down it is getting lighter. Now I am with the blue color only. I am showing the mountains. It is too far. So I can see it is blue. Now deep green color. I mean viridian color. You can see the right side one closer. So it is getting darker, and the left side of the bushes are. Uh, far so it is getting lighter than the closer ones so you can understand now uh, land i am starting with lemon yellow color now mixing a green sap green in it now in the water there is no color so the reflections is coming in the water that shows the water now my green color is getting darker for the land because as i am closing my painting the color is Get getting darker. This is called perspective. We same things we seen for our land, sky, and horizontal bushes. The things are closer to you that will be darker than things are far. Now we have to mix a viridian with a Prussian blue color to achieve more dark color. I am painting some grasses also. So now don't get scared for the trunk. we will when we color the trunk automatically we can see our trees so let's start with our leaves of trees so we are using light green color you can make sap green with lemon yellow to make this color after that you can use sap green color then uh, mix sap green and viridian to achieve more dark color just i am doing right now you can see and mix the prussian blue in the green so it will be looking more darker some leaves effect you can create with the color you have to understand the light is coming from the top so top leaves are lighter 
then you can use your locker you can make some branches so it looks real now use light brown color at the left sides of the trunks as from the right side light is coming and very important you have to mix the color your locker and light brown should be mixed this is the second tone now third tone you have to take dark brown color you can mix black and brown to achieve this dark brown color same is here always shades and shadows all will be at the left side because we have chosen the light is coming from the right side so all the right part will be looking lighter now some more branches that we can see from the inside the leaves also we can see some branches and uh, make the shadows i told under the trees we can see the dark shadows because of the light cannot pass through the tree leaves so this thing happens so now this is the time to color the trees we draw can you remember that is far so we are not doing too much of detailing so this is called actually perspective the things are closer to us that will be a uh, bright and and bigger with too much of detailing but the object is far that will be not in that much of detailing now i am coloring the human you can see i am coloring some red flowers so our painting is ready for more clarity we will paint this landscape in pastel medium also at the top point of any pastel color we will create a thin line and different different pressure will create different different line and from the edge you can create wider line we don't use scale over here we will use a casual line as our horizontal line so this is our horizontal line now you draw the mountain this is far and right one is closer our uh, left side bushes are far and uh, right side bushes are closer and draw trees in the far in our picture and some boats and humans now this is a closer where some grasses and trees so, uh, bigger as it is closer to our drawing so this is called perspective now take the prussian blue color from top of the color you have to give pressure to achieve the dark blue color for the top of the sky after coloring this you have to take next that is indigo color lighter than the prussian blue color and you have to mix the color with prussian blue and gradually you have to getting down now take light blue color you have to mix the color nicely blend the color nicely then take cobalt blue color that is lighter than indigo also so gradually it is lighter the more it is getting down the color sky color is getting lighter and how i'm coloring just see now i have to take the white color so before using white color you have to clean the color with a cloth now very gently you have to use this white color and you have to mix the color with light blue so it shows now i'm using my finger to mix all the color that it blends together now for mountain very lightly i am showing the blue color now give little bit of water in it and again use your finger to rub this so that it mix nicely now take a viridian color for the bushes the left side is looking far and the bushes the right side is getting closer so it will be darker so use some prussian blue color a little bit black touch on it and again use your finger to mix this so i have used over here blue color and a viridian color now color the tree is very far so taking deep blue color on the down of the leaves and the top of the leaves will be viridian color i don't worry about the trunk we can color the trunk later also so now take the lemon yellow color to color the land 
now take uh, the sap green color use it very lightly uh, use your finger to rub it now take white color to show the water leave the place white color and take sap green color use it very deeply now take viridian color mix with sap green so it is looking darker same concept the getting more closer to our land the color is getting darker so on the viridian color you apply the sap green color it is looking darker and the in the closer you use again your viridian color and use prussian blue color on it to look more darker that i am showing and some grassy effects on it and shadows on the land and now i am doing the reflection in the water you can see after this take lemon yellow color on the tree leaves you have to color the lemon yellow but with mixing of blue it is looking like a green but it's not it's a lemon yellow and now take the sap green to achieve more dark color now take a viridian you can see so i want more dark so use prussian blue on it and again give some bushes effect i mean leaves effect when you are coloring the land you don't have to think about the trunk of the trees okay easily we can do this i am showing just now take your yellow ochre and color the trunk very deeply after that you can take light brown color and you can color the down part of the trunk and also left side of the trunk because from the right side i wanted to show the light is coming some more branches you can use black color also again at the left side of the trunk because the shadow and shades will be the left side of the trunk because from the right side once again light is coming and shadows with the prussian blue color and you can take little bit of black color little bit of black under the tree there is some shadows because of the leaves uh, light can't pass and some boards in the far and human figure for we are using red color a little bit blue color use your pencil draw legs and hands don't do too much of detailing because it is too far and sub flower effect and you can use your scratcher i am using as a scissor as a scratcher my nail i am using to show the uh, leaves effect and it is looking very interesting it works very well you can see for the grasses also i am doing this is our painting i hope you liked it now you practice this and send us if you like the video please subscribe the channel hit the notification bell like comment and share and subscribe thank you for watching